The four people investigators say are responsible for the shooting death of a Muskegon teenager this week are in police custody, including the person they believe pulled the trigger. Police will not say if the gunman is the adult they arrested or one of three teenagers taken into custody. The family has identified the victim as 14 year old Demario Spears Jr. He was shot yesterday just a few blocks from Muskegon High School. 13 on your side, Charlie Tinker is live at the courthouse in Muskegon where the process is moving forward. And what are you hearing, Charlie? Yeah, Juliet, well, all three of those juvenile suspects have had charges or uh, our ch charges are in process against them. We also know two of the suspects had their hearings adjourned until at some point next week, May 9th, and at least one, we're told, will remain in a juvenile facility in the meantime uh, without bond. The role each of those suspects is accused of playing in the death of uh, this 14-year-old, however, there are still only question marks there. I can tell you from investigators, all were arrested at the same or about the same time and could have been together uh, when that that arrest occurred after the shooting. This all happened yesterday just before 11 on Gyrock Street between Southern and Irwin. We saw a barrier at the scene not long after marking the spot where witnesses said the teen was found laying in the street, hearing one neighbor brought a towel from his home and trying to use uh, that to put pressure on DeMario's wound until medical responders arrived. We'll hear from another neighbor in a moment with a call to action for his neighbors, one shared by law enforcement as well when I spoke to prosecutor DJ Helson just a few hours earlier. Yeah, it's tragic. Uh, I can't imagine how, uh, you know, the people that are close to him, relatives, siblings feel. Uh, and certainly uh, it's a reminder again that, uh, you know, engaging in, in activity that might put you in those situations isn't a good idea, whether you're an adult or a, or a child. We really have to maybe go a little bit extra to protect our kids. Yeah, Sam, Sam Turnip seat has owned the house two or three doors down from the shooting scene for about 25 years now and shared this message. It's knocking at everyone's door now. So now we, we all need to wake up. Wake up and see what's going on around us. Now is the time to do something about it. It's all, to me, all changeable. Communities come together. Decide what you want for your community, what you want for your children. And that is uh, also the question he is asking state leaders tonight and uh, local law enforcement agencies. Charges announced or in process against the three juveniles include a concealed weapon and tampering with evidence charge with several others. Hilson told me earlier, maybe more may more may be added later, excuse me. Uh, they're weighing any possible charge on the table very seriously, including looking at a possible self-defense claim. Live in Muskegon, Charlie Tinker, 13 on your side.